bugs, wildlife, pollen and other asthma triggers, the sun. These are all things that are a little bit more problematic at the lake than they are in the city. So you're smart to be building a cottage specific first aid kit. At the cottage, you also face the challenges of being more remote, being off the grid and not having access to clean water. So as the Boy Scouts say, be prepared. Key items include the more obvious things, antihistamines, antibacterial cream, bandages, for example. Among the less obvious, saline or sterile water if you don't have access to clean water, and ice packs that don't need freezing if you're off the grid. It's also a good idea to have a splint on hand for possible breaks, and a butterfly bandage, which is good for keeping a wound together that you may need to have stitched when you get to the ER. Other items for more serious mishaps include gauze, triangular bandages, and sterile rubber gloves. Another tip, along with written instructions to your cottage and your cottage phone number, also think about including a list of questions for your kit. You may want to ask the injured if there's someone you don't know very well, a guest at a neighbor's cottage, for example. These questions can include, do you have any allergies? Do you have any medical conditions that will affect your treatment? Are you taking any medication? Getting the answers to these questions right away will help the advanced care people at the ER when you arrive. Having those questions written down in your kit will remind you to ask them. Lastly, be sure to freshen up your kit each spring. That bandage that has been in the kit since 20 years ago when you were a kid, probably time to toss it.